Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, that means market outlook time for us here on the channel. This is a video that I do every Monday, taking a look ahead at the week of FIFA Ultimate Team and then kind of see what content, what type of promos or SBCs or objectives that we could be seeing this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. And this week actually, could be kind of interesting because I think there's a promo sneaking up on sneaking up on us that a lot of people aren't really thinking about at the moment, and that is Ultimate Scream. If EA decides to, to do that promo again this year, uh, that time period is sneaking up on us very close. So I want to talk about that for a little bit, and also kind of talk about some other events this week. But the main point this week and what I think a lot of people are going to be focused on for the majority of this week is going to be completing these icon swaps for the icon tokens that you can get now um, here on FIFA. And now we know that these came out on Friday. But of course, a lot of people are playing weekend league and a lot of people were grinding those games over the weekend. So I think during the week this week, you're going to see a lot of teams and division rivals that are going to be all the first owner with the... Um, League One, the Serie A, the La Liga, the Bundesliga. People are going to be trying to get these done as soon as possible. Get these icon swap tokens. And I know of some people that have already started turning in tokens um, for these icons. So some people have already got icons in their team. Like if they're doing um, Rio, Ferdinand, and Pep Guardiola, that combo. Or maybe like a Crespo and some of the other cards. Some people have grinded those games already and actually have completed some of these icons in icon swaps so like i think is crespo 12 so if you've if you've completed all the um, icon tokens that are in the objectives you could get yourself a crespo a clivert or anything below uh closa as well because all these guys are 12 that's how many are possible to attain right now um, so some people have already got these cards which uh is honestly pretty baffling in my opinion roberto, Car roberto carlos a lot of people are interested in because of the perfect or the strong link to Neymar. People are actually interested in uh, Nesta as well, but I know a lot of people that have got Guardiola, and they say he's actually pretty decent in game. So if you're somebody that's been looking at the Rio combination um, with Rio and Pep Guardiola for your 24 icon tokens, you could take the chance early on and get that Guardiola card in your club already if you want to do that. But that's, I think, going to be the focal point of the early part of the week. Uh, which I think we need to mention that as well. But one thing that I'm going to mention right now, and that is something that we really have to take into account, is uh, today, Monday, October 14th, is Thanksgiving in Canada. It is a holiday in Canada, so I doubt the EA employees are working today. Um, but that does not mean that we're not getting any content. In days past when there's been an, an, uh, a Canadian holiday, there hasn't been uh, any content, but... I know that EA and we know that EA can very easily make up some sort of SBC like the ones that they have been putting out recently, like the Born Legends or the Strong Start SBCs that they have put out and um, give us content um, on a Monday, even when they're not in the office. They have whatever content scheduled to come out. So if that is the case for tomorrow, uh, don't really expect to see, or today, Monday, don't expect to see a ton of content, kind of keep your expectations on the low. And if we do see something, cool, they, they did put something out. But other than that, um, I don't expect to see a ton of content today on Monday. For the rest of the week, though, um, I do think it should be a relatively quiet week as EA is realizing, hey, we just put out a bunch of these um, icon swaps. Um, they probably are thinking that this is going to occupy us for the next couple of days. We are due some Player of the Month cards, though. I think the League One Player of the Month and the Bundesliga have both completed voting, actually. So those uh, could be coming this week as well. Both of those cards, for the nominees, they looked very, uh, I don't want to say low level. I'm not going to be disrespectful in that way. But they don't look like very meta, high-rated, usable cards. There's no Mbappe. There's no Neymar for League One. There's no Royce, no Lewandowski. There could be a Lewandowski for uh, Bundesliga, but it's looking like it might be Herit. Um, or uh, possibly Coutinho, but kind of it's kind of looking like Herit. So whatever happens with those, uh, we will see those come out um, some point this week. I wouldn't say it's really anything where you can invest. The best thing you could do is maybe do a club stock of high-rated golds if you really wanted to. But um, the Lewandowski SBC, I mean, some people have done that, but I think a lot of people did this SBC early on just because it was 
one of the first SBCs, and they wanted to get that card in their club. But the player of the month so far this year have been very, very disappointing in terms of the upgrades. Um, obviously, we have the, the Pookie, which is a nice upgrade. But Lewandowski was barely an upgrade, and Aubameyang was barely an upgrade as well. So if we see those SBCs this week, I don't think that will create too huge of a wave on the game. Um, but yeah, Monday, probably not going to hear a lot of correspondence from EA since it is a holiday in Canada. I wanted to make that known to all of you guys as well. A couple things that I do see kind of happening right now on the game. We're going to go over here to Footbin and check this out. This is Lozano's Ones to Watch card. The same thing is happening with Lukaku. We'll look at him in a second. Uh, but there are some Ones to Watch cards from the international games where they have a couple games that they have played and a couple guys have turned in pretty good performances from those games. Lozano's card is actually now rising. It rose from 44,000 coins on Friday all the way up to 62k right now. I'm going to take the same approach as in weeks past with the Sarabia card that um, EA for some reason doesn't want to give one to watches and inform just yet uh, except for Coutinho and De Jong from basically Team of the Week 1. So um, I'm really going to stay away from these ones to watch cards, holding them after the team of the week would come out. If you have a Lukaku or if you have a Lozano already purchased, I would not go out and buy them now. I think they're already inflated too much for my liking to keep it more of a safer investment. But I would hold on to these guys and just kind of wait. I would hold on to these guys and wait and sell them probably on Tuesday into the lead up for the new team of the week. Um, they, I remember for Sarabia, Sarabia was the most expensive on Tuesday night, Wednesday morning leading into the team of the week. Um, also, he was pretty expensive Tuesday morning as well. So I would look to sell these one swatch cards if you have either of them early in the morning because especially with these international games, EA has multiple games to choose from. And uh, with international games happening, a lot of teams were playing, a lot of performances were made. Instead of just having league games over the weekend where it was one team playing one game, you had Mexico, I think, played a couple games. Like Brazil played a couple games. Like a lot of the national teams played multiple games over the last, you know, what was it, three, four, or five days of Euro qualifiers and um, international friendlies. So I would say take the money on these guys on Tuesday before Team of the Week when that comes out. Um, and then, yeah, other, other than that, a lot of the cards that I uh, looked at, we just completed the Sunday night bidding, Sunday night. Um, squad Battles Rewards stream on Twitch.tv. That link, if you want to watch me live stream there, is below in the description. But um, basically, we saw this trend from last week. The Allens went from 59k. A lot of stuff was low on Sunday night with Squad Battle Rewards, and it rose up into the week. I see that again happening this week. Um, so I bought some stuff on my transfer list. I can go through that with you guys really quick if you'd like to. I don't have a ton of coins liquid at the moment. I'm still working. Um, but we have some Umtit Umtitis, De Youngs. I like the link here to the Semedo in form. Same thing with Vidal. I think there's a big gap in the price of midfielders in La Liga. Uh, De Young, if you need a, a Barcelona midfielder, he's a very good one. Rakitic isn't super duper usable in game. And if you need another all around midfielder from Barcelona, I mean, De Young is like 80,000, 85,000 coins, and Vidal is 8K. So I could definitely see some hype on Vidal. That's why I bought him. Same with Umtiti. Um, and then the Tweety as well, I just thought was pretty cheap. I have a couple other cards that are uh, that are in the club as well. So you should see a lot of the cards um, kind of form this trend. That's why on stream tonight we were bidding on a lot of cards, getting a lot of deals on cards that are meta popular cards that people are going to upgrade to put in their teams because I think they could have a nice rise like this early into the week as well. I cited a, a sell time of Tuesday or Wednesday just to be safe that EA does not put out another SBC like the Born Legends. Uh, because we know, we know what that can do to the market. We saw it yesterday. I'm not sure if it'll still show on the footprint graphs here. But yeah, you see it right here. This is a big, big drop from 83 points to yesterday, Saturday when that SBC came out, to 78,000 coins. Uh, big time drop on the market from that SBC right there. And then even Wednesday to Thursday, you saw the big drop from the Strong Start SBC, I believe that came out that day. So if EA releases more SBCs like that this week, um, where it's, you know, pay 10 to 15,000 coins to get like a 35k pack or the very cheap SBCs like this Born Legend one. That's just going to push gold cards down, but that also is going to put more um, cards and more coins on the market. So EA is crashing the market when they do this, but they're also putting more coins on the market 
and allowing some of the higher rated players that people are upgrading to to rise up in price as well. And now the last thing that I want to mention, and this could be coming at the end of the week, is the Scream promotion. Ultimate Scream from FIFA 19 started right around this time of last year. Um, it actually started last year on October 19th, which if we pull up our handy dandy calendar, uh, thank you Windows and Microsoft for this calendar, October of 2019. I would like to go to October to 2018. Right here we go. October 2018. This is October 2018. The promotion started right here on the 19th. Uh, it was right here on the 19th is when that promotion started. And that would be basically the corresponding day for that. This year would be this Friday, which I think is the 17th um, or the 18th, one of the two. So if they want to start the screen promo or if they're even doing that promo this year, that is um, when the, the stuff would start. They had promo packs last year. There were no lightning rounds, uh, but they did have the first 50K packs available in the store. They were limited to seven, but there were 50K packs for the first time in FIFA 19 last year during the promo, and then also 25Ks, 35Ks, 45Ks. And uh, we'll start to look at some market stuff if that promo is gonna come this, this uh, coming week. We'll look at the market movements from last year and the year before that and start to you know maybe think ahead about that. You don't really have to worry about those cards just yet. Worry about the market. Obviously this is a team from last year before their boosts. Um, I would imagine that we would maybe see, Ultimate Scream has been the same promo for the last like three, I think three or four years. So it's been pretty similar uh, for the most part. So I would expect that, that promo comes out again this year. But um, we'll take a look at that later in the week and how to possibly um, get prepared for this if we'll see some big market movements because of it. But I've just wanted to get that on your guys' radars. There were some SBCs last year. If you wanna take a look at this website, it's called fifauteam.com. I'll put the link in the description of this exact link right here to the ultimate screen guide uh, that they have from last year on that website. It's very helpful for in past information. Uh, I love that website for that. So again, this week on the market, keep working on those icon swaps. I would say try to put the to time in this week to get on those icon swaps because um, you might see the screen promo come this weekend and that would uh, also eat up a little bit of your time if you're trying to get these swaps done. Try to get a lot of them out of the way. Maybe it's just the squad battles. Maybe it's just the rivals ones. Get a few of them out of the way and start chipping away at them so that you don't have to keep worry about worrying about them the next whatever 25 days that we have of this season uh, before those objectives will go away and we'll get the next 12 to finish off icon swap set number one. So that's the market outlook for this week. Probably some upticking in the market again in, pri in prices. Sunday night seems to be a low night. People start to buy and upgrade their teams. And then depending on if EA drops any SBCs this week, maybe we see the market do a little bit of one of those mini dips uh, in the afternoon at some time this week as well. And if you see one of those SBCs, um, if you see me tweet out about, hey, this is a very cheap SBC for a pack, watch for some gold supply, that'd be a great time to probably buy some cards on the market in that dip two hours after the SBC comes out and then sell them later on the next day and make some profit from that and from you know those fluctuations that EA is now trying to make us used to and has done multiple times this year on the market already. So be ready for the screen promo. Be ready for a um, no content filled Monday just in case because EA is on holiday. And of course, um, the ultimate screen promo on Friday. I think I'd already mentioned that, but we can make rewards flipping this week as well. Depending on the team of the week, you know, you could see some people making a lot of coins um, because the team of the week so far have been just average. And uh, with a full set of weekend league rewards this weekend, a lot of people were able to play this week. You probably will see a lot more market movements on Thursday and Friday because of that, hopefully. Um, but we will see. All right. So that's your market outlook for this week. If you like the video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.